Alright, so I've made videos for four years now, and by the way, if you didn't tell, I'm completely out of video ideas, and I'm currently working on one. So, in this video, I'm going to be reacting to some of my older videos. I have never really done a reaction video before, except for that one time in 2021. But, uh, yeah, it's my first time doing a reaction video like this, and I thought, why not start it off with me reacting to some of my older videos? So, yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, so this is my YouTube channel right here, and I'm gonna click on oldest. A lot of these videos have turned four years old now, which is insane. That's how long I've been doing this. So, I'm gonna start at the beginning of this one right here. Mm, I hate this already. Oh, I hate this. Oh god, I hate this already. Alright, so first of all, the intro. Mathematica, right? So if you didn't know, I actually changed my name from Mathematica Vlogs to Andrew's Video Tips. And I was actually, I actually wanted to do that for the longest time because if you try to search it up, you won't see my channel. You'll see this bull crap. And you know, I thought I was original and my mom actually came up with that name. So I thought I, w I had an original name, right? But I try to look my channel up and this shows up. But, uh, yeah, I just stuck with this for the longest time. That's why I cringed immediately at this video, because it's just, it's a little bit embarrassing. This calculus stuff, this is just incredibly basic. Incredibly basic. Anyone can learn this in five minutes. And I thought I was a genius. Oh! So freaking embarrassing, man. <laughs> So the thing is, three hours after I put out this video, my YouTube channel got terminated. Like, completely terminated for, like, the next two months. And I have no idea why this was the era where people were quitting YouTube because YouTube's freaking copyright system sucked. But in July, I actually started this channel back up because I did not want to give up on this. Which is why my next video after this one was released two months after this one. So this video right here is my PEI trip 2019. If you watch the video, you may notice that the first minute of the video is completely muted. And the reason why is because when I originally made this video, I used music from the iMovie Music Library. And I was so skeptical that using a song from the iMovie Music Library would get my channel terminated again. So here I am just filming the, uh, the clock for whatever reason. And <sighs> All the clips I had filmed in Nova Scotia includes our family. And mom didn't want me to show any of that. I actually went to PEI after I went to Nova Scotia. And that is all the clips that I could use. Which is why this is called my PEI trip. I think the time and date has changed. Because on my watch it says 2.44. It says 3.44. It's an hour ahead. Yes, that's how time zones work, dude. But there are parts of this video that actually are half decent. Such as this montage here that I did at the end. <laughs> And also that song in the background, I actually made that in GarageBand. I used to make my own background music. That's how skeptical I was of using other people's music and getting my channel terminated. This iPhone 3GS here, sad story. Uh, over time, the battery started expanding and the iPhone 3GS just turned into unusable. The battery only lasted for like 10 seconds from full to zero. So yeah, we had to put the iPhone 3GS away. I actually have a lot of apps on the iPhone 3GS still, but it's in the garage and it might be dead by now. So around this period of time, I was actually visiting my uh, grandma's place who lives in Montreal. And I'm actually going to Montreal again this month. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And wow, this is a pretty long video. This was eight minutes. Let's watch it. So the reason why I put this image in the beginning of my video for the first couple of seconds is because back then I actually realized that if I put an image, which I want to be the thumbnail in the first couple of seconds of the video, YouTube's automatic thumbnail thing is just going to choose the image in one of these options here. Hey guys, so uh, today I woke up at 2 in the morning. Yes, guys, 2 in the morning. I don't know if you noticed, but like, my face is a lot slimmer now. I hope this video is gonna get me in lots of views and subscribers. Oh, that's freaking hilarious. So, the thing is, back then, I thought that it was so incredibly easy to get views and subscribers on YouTube. But look at me now, I have... I've been doing this for four years and I only have 353 subscribers. Please subscribe. I would, I would really appreciate it. But little did I know, it's actually much, 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 much harder to get views and subscribers on YouTube than I thought. So, um, yeah, if only I were to tell this kid, he probably wouldn't have went, oh, this is pointless. At least I have enough time to make the first episode for a show, Mathematica Cook. 
Mathematica cook? Are you kidding me? Chef Mathematica to show you the better way of how to make coffee. Oh, that's so bad. So oh, look at my picture in the background. That was me. That's me. No way, guys. Look at this. We have some Folgers. We have. Oh, my mouth. My mouth is so close to the microphone. I was filming. I was filming like this. Hey, so we have some some Folgers. We have some. Because there was a freaking TV in the background. I was still so skeptical of YouTube and freaking guidelines. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. This was actually the very first video I had ever made where I didn't film it on a phone. I filmed it on a DSLR camera, and this was a huge step up for me. This is the first time I've ever edited a video on an actual Windows computer. So when I first started doing this, my computer was severely underpowered. Like, 4K was completely out of the picture. Even 1080p, I think I was still editing in 720p because I had to. This video is an exception, but I think a lot of videos I uploaded in 720p. I've never used DaVinci Resolve before. This was the very first time I've ever used it and this time marks the beginning of I don't know how much stuff has happened since then that relates to like my editing and whatever that's when I started to learn blender and after effects and stuff like that and I'm still using it to this day hey guys so today Ooh. I'm going to be showing you guys oh the audio is so terrible no, no, it's, not. it's not and you could hear how bad the audio sounded all right so I would recommend it if you have less than six devices, um, and it's very organizable. Alright, now let's go down to my most popular video. So this video here is how to stop After Effects from crashing. And this video has 10,000 views. I guess that was when After Effects was like super bad crashing and everything. And I hate this video. It's got 31 dislikes, which I understand. It's not a good video. I don't like it. And I wish it never got this many views. I probably put the least amount of effort. My videos now have like 10 times the amount of effort and they don't have 10 times the amount of views so anyway yeah hey guys so don't you just hate it when after effects keeps on crashing i don't like this video it's just not a good video i hate it yes yes i hate it as soon as you put a video into your composition the screen just goes all black so the fact that my screen restarted like that indicated that it was probably a driver issue which was the reason why downgrading to an older version of after effects worked for me i can't believe i missed 10,000 people. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to react to some even older videos that I made in like early, early 2019 or like 2018, 2017 even, then drop a like on the video. Get subscribed, please. That would make my day. Go ahead, comment any video idea, and I'll totally do them within the next 10 years. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Also, if you're wondering why I have braces on, then that video is up there.